Good afternoon. I'm John Perkins with your Closing Market Minute. Chicago Board of Trade soybean futures closed modestly lower. Harvest made a pretty decent advance in Brazil over the past week, especially in their primary production state of Mato Grosso, which jumped from about a fifth of the way through to more than halfway complete. Corn ended the day modestly higher, even if there is some increase in export competition out of Argentina and Brazil, domestic demands expected to remain solid, feed, food, and fuel. The wheat complex is modestly higher, continuing to shrug off really an overwhelmingly bearish set of fundamental influences. Live and feeder cattle closed higher, supported by higher midday box beef. Also, direct cash cattle business at the major U.S. feeding areas was up about $5 from last week's weighted average generally at 125 live and 195 dressed, at least as of Wednesday afternoon, and the Fed cattle exchange weighted average was up from the previous week as well. Lean hog futures ended the day lower. The major direct cash hog markets opened lower, including a dollar and 11 cent drop at the national direct market, and the pork carcass cutout value is lower at midday, so it does look like that recent run of strength in wholesale pork has run out for now. I'm John Perkins with the Closing Market Minute.